environmental, social and governance that is ESG factors have become a dominant theme in business operations worldwide. With ESG compliance and reporting going to be mandatory in future, this is one of the major areas which is of concern to logistic industry. Among ESG, the E for environmental responsibility, particularly climate control, has seen a sharp rise in importance due to the visible effect of climate change. While many nations, corporations and organizations have pushing for greener initiative, the role of the United States and other developed nations in contributing to and addressing climate change is a complex and controversial subject. Many argue that the US should bear more responsibility for climate action due to its historical contribution to global emissions. However, many stakeholders argue that it is not solely their responsibility. Let's examine this in today's episode of Logistically Speaking. The industrial revolution led by developed nations like the US and the United Kingdom marked a significant turning point in human history. While it propelled these countries to economic dominance, it came at the cost of enormous greenhouse gas or GHG emissions. The US in particular has historically been one of the largest emitters of carbon dioxide or CO2. From 1850 to 2021, the US contributed approximately 25% of world's cumulative CO2 emissions, surpassing any other country. The energy consumption model in the US relied heavily on fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas, which are primarily contributors to climate change. By the mid 20th century, the US economy was thriving on industries and transportation network powered by fossil fuels. The global trend followed suit with many other developed countries also significantly contributing to the degradation of the environment. Today, the US ranks as the second largest carbon emitter after China, producing around 15% of global emissions annually. As the world grapples with climate change, the logistic industry, especially being a heavy contributor to GHG emissions, faces unique challenges. Many businesses are now demanding greener solutions including sustainable shipping practices, eco-friendly warehousing and emissions reduction throughout the supply chain. As global trade continues to expand, balancing the need for efficiency with climate consideration has become a pressing concern. Historically, logistics was centered on cost, speed and reliability. However, over the past decade, businesses have evolved to expect ESG compliant practices from logistic providers. Corporations now face pressure from consumers, investors and regulators to demonstrate their commitment to reducing environmental impact. This shift has increased the demand for innovations such as carbon neutral shipping, electric delivery vehicles and more sustainable packaging solutions. Logistics companies must also navigate stricter regulatory environments which often vary from country to country. In response, many US-based logistics providers have integrated climate-friendly practices into their operations. For example, UPS has introduced the use of electric vehicles in their delivery fleet and FedEx is investing in carbon capture technologies to offset its emissions. However, the transition to fully sustainable logistics remains slow and the overall contribution of the US logistics sector to climate change continued to be significant. Despite its role as a leading emitter of GHGs, many in the US, particularly certain political groups and industries, argue that addressing climate change should not fall squarely on the country's shoulders. This view is rooted in a combination of historical, economic and political factors. Number 1. Historical Ignorance of Climate Science For much of the 20th century, climate science was either underdeveloped or ignored by major global powers, including the US. Many argue that they cannot be held fully accountable for the emissions produced before climate change was widely recognized as a threat. Number 2. Economic competitiveness. 
The US has a highly industrialized economy and industries such as manufacturing, agriculture and transportation rely heavily on fossil fuels. Some argue that transitioning too quickly to green energy could damage US economic competitiveness especially compared to emerging economies like China and India which continue to grow their industries without equally stringent climate regulations. Number three, unequal responsibility. The US government has often pointed out that while the country has historically contributed to climate change, it should not bear the brunt of today's action given that other nations, particularly China, now lead in emissions. China's CO2 emissions have surpassed that of the US since the early 2000 and in 2021, China has responsible for 31% of global CO2 emissions. US policymakers frequently argue that emerging economies must also take on more climate responsibility. Number four, the pushback against multilateral agreements. The US has had a complicated relationship with international climate agreements. While the country signed the Paris Agreement in 2025, which aims to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial level, it withdrew under the Trump administration only to rejoin under President Biden. This political flip-flop reflects broader reluctance in some US sectors to commit to global climate initiatives that could be seen as undermining national sovereignty and economic interests. While the US government and many corporations have championed the shift to greener options, there is a glaring contradiction between this rhetoric and action. The US continues to heavily subsidize its fuel, fossil fuel industry, providing around 20 billion annually in direct subsidies according to a 2021 study. These subsidies undermine global effort to transitioning to renewable energy and reduce emissions. At the same time, US-based multinational corporations are profiting from the green transition by marketing products and services as sustainable even when their overall environmental impact remains high. Many companies engage in greenwashing where they promote eco-friendly initiatives to distract from their continuous reliance on non-renewable resources. The contradiction is evident. While advocating for a greener future, the US and its industry often prioritize profit and short-term economic gains over long-term environmental sustainability. Despite these contradictions, there are notable trends in the US towards more sustainable practices, especially in logistics and supply chain management. The shift towards greener logistics have accelerated, spurred by government regulation and changing client expectations. For example, Amazon, the world's largest online retailer, has committed to achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2040 and has ordered 100,000 electric delivery vehicles as part of this goal. There has been an overall increase in green initiatives. The US saw 50% increase in electric vehicles sales from 2020 to 2022, with Tesla being a leading player. The transportation sector, which contribute to around 29% of US total GHG emissions, is gradually shifting towards EV as more stringent emissions and regulations take effect. In 2020, the global logistics sector emitted around 3.5 billion tons of CO2, with the US logistics sector accounting for approximately 15% of this. Leading logistics providers like DHL and FedEx have committed to reducing their carbon footprints by investing in electric trucks, more efficient shipping routes and renewable energy sources. According to the US SIF Foundation, assets invested in ESG compliant portfolios grew to $17 trillion by 2021, a 42% increase from 2018. This shows a growing demand from investors for companies to adhere to sustainable practices. The US has played a pivotal role in both causing and addressing climate change. While the country's historical emissions are significant, its reluctance to fully embrace global climate responsibility and the contradictions in its green policies have hampered progress. However, 
the rising demand for sustainable solutions from clients, investors and regulators is pushing US corporation, especially in sectors like logistics, to adopt greener practice. To truly learn the fight against climate change, the US must reconcile its economic interests with its environmental responsibilities and ensure that its green push is more than just rhetoric. Well, we have come to the end of the episode. Thank you for watching till the end and see you next week.